What's up guys, my name is Pocket Island, and this is the Powercraft mod. I spent some time with this mod, and this mod is really intuitive, yet it's still industrial. It has transportation methods, logic gates and wireless redstone machines, and more. It really adds the tools to Minecraft that allow you to make an industry. You can set up automatic smelting, farming, crafting, and more. In the right hand, this mod is truly amazing. This mod adds a variety of things, too much for me to cover in one video, so in this video I will be showing off the transportation means and the machines. So let's get started. So first of all, just so everyone knows, the crafting recipes in this mod are pretty simple, you don't actually need too much resources, and also if you want to play without too many items or just regular Minecraft, you can actually craft the items in the regular Let's Play if you want. So first of, all, first of all, let's go over the conveyor belt. So to craft a conveyor belt, all you need is three leather strips, two iron ingots, and one redstone, a simple recipe, and that will give you 16 conveyor belts. And conveyor belts are pretty cool. They will transport you just like that. They are pretty slow compared to those speedy belts, which I'll show you after. But conveyor belts, you can just put things on, and it will be transported. And if you have a ch chest near it, it will the items will actually go inside the chest, just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the speedy belt, and the speedy belt is also just like the conveyor belt, only it's faster. And instead of putting iron ingots, you can put golden ingots, and you'll get 16 of those. And that is how fast the speedy belt goes, and that is how fast the normal belt goes. So as you can see, the speedy belt has a good speed increase. So next thing I'm going to show you guys is the item redirector. And this is crafted easily with just a redstone dust on top of below a regular conveyor belt. And basically this will redirect items. So when it is not powered, it will items will go to the left. However, when it is powered, items will move to the right and they'll go into set chests just like that. So next thing is the conveyor brake. And to, to simply craft that, all you gotta put is an iron ingot on top of a regular conveyor belt with redstone underneath, and that'll create the conveyor brake. This will basically slow items down, and if you actually power it with redstone, it will completely halt the items all together. And it will continue on. And then we have the item separator, and this is probably my favorite item in the game right now, in the mod. And to craft that, you simply need a regular conveyor belt with redstone underneath and one diamond on top. And the reason why it's so cool is that if you right click, if you put it down and you right click it, you can actually separate items up to nine different items on to each side. So basically, put the item what you want to redirect, and it will automatically go to its correct position. So if we put wood, and see it's going to the left, and crafting blocks are to the right. So for crafting block, it goes to the right. And if it's in neither of those, it will just go straight, and it'll go to the next one, just like that. Okay, so now the next thing is the item ejector, and that's how it looks like right there, that green arrow right there. And to craft that, you simply need a regular conveyor belt with some redstone underneath and a bow on top. And basically, when this is power, when the item ejector is powered by redstone. It will eject an, a stack of blocks, just like that, from the nearest chest, right around there. So we basically put each each time it gets hit, it will eject the next stack, just like that. Okay, and now this is the uh, pressure plate. So basically, it's it's kind of simple. All you gotta do is that when it's triggered by either a player or an item, it will emit a redstone pulse. And to be crafted, it's just a regular conveyor belt with some redstone underneath and a pressure plate on top. And if you just put items on there, it will emit a redstone signal just like that. Next thing is an automatic workbench, and this is actually a machine. Those are all the transportation methods, and now we're moving on to machines. So this is probably a really, really nifty machine. So basically to craft it, all you need is a crafting table with an ejector uh, conveyor belt underneath and a diamond on top. And basically, what you can do is put a recipe on on the right. And when this gets enough items, so let's put a couple of sticks in there. And as you can see, it's already building the item. The sticks are already in there. 
And let's go put some cobblestone. And you'll inject an item, and it's actually pretty cool. You can have this set up at the mine, and then basically you can have people mining and then dropping their items here and transport into automatic workbench, and then you'll automatically give them what they need and transport back. It's pretty cool. So this is the elevator, which is orange, and that is the descender, which is red. And basically this will basically elevate and descend items, just like that. And that will descend items. And this is pretty easy to craft as well. Okay, just three pressure plates and two golden ingots. And if you put a redstone in the middle, you can get a descender. Just like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, and this is probably one of the most useful machines in my opinion. Let's go set it up. Just like that. And basically this is a um a block dispenser and it dispenses blocks. And that this is a block harvester and it harvests blocks. And as you can see, you just harvest block and this will dispense basically items. And this is best used for farming because that's what it's made for. And basically you can put items in there. As you can see, I put a diamond hoe, seeds, and some bone meal. And basically it will automatically farm for me. And I can just put the seeds in there and I'll keep doing it over and over and over. And basically this will harvest the blocks, all the blocks in front of it, except for the dispenser itself. And it will transport all the items behind it and back into a chest. And this is also not a machine. This is a redstone pulser. And you can basically set a delay and a hold time. And it's really nice because you don't have to use some long clocks. It's pretty easy. It just takes one block, one block space. And I really like it. Okay, and to craft it, it's pretty simple as well. You need a dispenser with a golden ingot on top. And to craft... Oh, let's stop the rain. Okay, and to craft the harvester, it's just a dispenser with a iron pickaxe on top. And it's pretty simple. Okay, so the next thing is... Oh, this is the furnace, I believe. Roaster, that's what it's called. And basically, you can put, you can craft it, you can put coal inside. Oh, and to craft it, it's just some flints and steel surrounded with iron ingots. And you'll get the roaster. And you can put a bunch of coal in it. And when it's powered by redstone, it will basically start up. And with the roaster, you can actually, when items travel over it, such as ores... It'll automatically be smelted just like that and it'll also basically burn anything such as cobblestone and it's pretty useful material because then you can separate your uh, ingots and your ores and it'll automatically smelt which is pretty nifty okay so the next thing is the laser gate and basically this wait oh yeah right so basically this they will detect anything that passes it, and to craft it, it's just three cobblestone, a wooden plank, and a diamond, and kind of like a upside down T kind of formation. And basically, when something gets in front of it, it'll emit a redstone signal, and just like that. And also, if you actually put this on top of a furnace, it will actually can be used as a mob trap. Because it does, and when the furnace is next to it, like right here, it will actually kind of emit a deadly laser, which can kill mobs. Okay. So next thing, the, the last machine that we're going to go over this video is the experience storage. And this is great for mob grinding. So let's get a cow. Let's see. A cow. Okay, there you go. And let's get a diamond sword. Just so we can kill it. Okay, so basically, when the experience goes down, it will be transported by the conveyor belt, and it will go into this machine, this cauldron right here. If you right-click it, you can actually get all experience points. So you can keep running a mob grinder here, and all experience will go down, and just be able for you to retrieve by right-clicking a cauldron. And to basically get it, craft it, you need to have six obsidian, a gas tier, and a block of diamond. This it's probably one of, the, one of the harder blocks to craft, and you probably need kind of need too many items for it anyway. So those are the means of transportation and the machines, and it's pretty cool. It's up to you what you can do with it. It's, it's kind of endless what you can do with it. There's a lot of things you can do. So let's move on to what I've made. So let's go get that. Okay, 
So let's pretend that I have a mine where people are mining and then they're, they're sending me back all their stuff. So what can we do with it? Okay, first of all, we can go separate everything. So let's put all our wood in here and then and bones and seeds. So here, that we can have all our cobblestone go and be cooked. So let's go some, get some cobblestone. Put it on the track. And all the cobblestone is going through there. And we're going to create smooth stone just like that for us to collect over here. And that's pretty cool. Here we can have all our ingots go and our ores. So if you turn this on, see as you can see it automatically cook the smelt the ingots and the coal and make it all go in this chest for us to retrieve which is pretty cool and we can even have a tools mode on so what if we really like tools so as you can see all the coal will go in this chest and all the tools will come here where it will dispense tools just like that all we gotta do is have put the right amount of sticks and it's kind of amazing. Just look at those ingots go. And it's dispensing the pickaxes I need in the right chests. And here we have a farming machine. The farming machine is pretty easy, so we'll put our seeds in here. So the seeds will go in here, and the bone meal will automatically be crafted into the bones will automatically craft in bone meal and wait. And it's gonna be right there. And let's just turn this on. And we can actually set this for a bit longer. 15 seconds is good. Let's see. And it'll automatically take the seeds and the bull meal and just plant it along. And it'll automatically harvest. And here we can even separate our tree trunks just like that. And any excess material will go over there. Another cool thing is this mod actually works with booming stations too and basically alchemy it's kind of hard to use I still haven't figured it out yet but I'm sure if you go on the forums you can actually find out and my favorite thing to do with this is a milking machine and the milking machine is just quite quite amazing because oh, you'll see right now it will automatically milk the cow so basically when this will dispense buckets and start up it will get milked and then it will keep dispensing buckets and right there and if it, and if the milking is not successful it will come back and try again and as you can see and I did not actually uh, make this credit goes to the person on the forum who made this dot of idea and just like that and look at that it's an automatic milking machine so that's the powercraft mod guys and there is much more to it there's too there's too much to fill in one video but it's quite amazing. It's all up to you guys. I recommend you download it. Just even if you really don't really like mods, just download it and try what you can do with Minecraft. Because to be truthful, when I downloaded it, I felt like I was playing a different game, and it was a lot of fun. It was just me sitting there and trying to make as much as machines as possible, trying out new things. It really changes Minecraft for you, and kind of changes mining, and it makes it much more industrial. Yet it still makes it intuitive. So thanks for watching, that has been the Powercraft mod, links in the description to the download. My name is Pocket Island, and peace out guys.